Hey, hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Jim Fung, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to get free leads using ChatGPT in 2024. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because there's obviously many different ways to generate leads. I've personally made several videos on my YouTube channel talking about how to use tools such as Apollo or LinkedIn Sales Navigator to generate leads. But the main advantage of what I'm gonna share with you today is because using tools such as Apollo or LinkedIn Sales Navigator, the thing with those tools is the targeting isn't necessarily that good. So obviously using those tools, there's a lot of built-in filters, but if you try to, let's say, look for marketing agencies or recruitment agencies or whatever niche that you're looking for, and you're trying to use the built-in filters to target those people using those tools, it's really not that accurate. So what I'm gonna share with you today is a way more accurate way in order to generate leads that are very targeted towards who you're looking to reach out to. So for example, the very first step that you want to do is you obviously wanna to go to Google. And what you wanna search on Google is exactly who you're looking for. So let's say for the purposes of this example that I'm trying to reach out to marketing agencies in the USA, in the States, and this could obviously work with any industry in any location. The very first thing I want to do is I'm gonna search up marketing agencies uh, in, in USA, and that's what I'm gonna find. The next thing I'm gonna do is after I make my Google search is what you're looking for is you're looking for different directories and there's directories for literally every single industry in different locations. We can literally see them right here. A really good one that you could use is one that's called Clutch. We see it right here. Uh, this is a really large directory for all of these different databases with different companies, different locations, and things like that. So right now we see top United States digital marketing agencies. So all of these are marketing agencies. So basically exactly who we're looking for. After that, the next step is you want to install a Google Chrome extension. It's called Instant Data Scraper. If you look to my top right, you see this Pokeball looking type of a symbol, right? This is instant data scraper and this allows you to scrape data off of custom websites. So this would work if you're trying to scrape data off of like stuff like Google Maps or off of directories exactly like Clutch or whatever the case is. So you want to install that into your Google Chrome and you just want to open that up. And basically this is what that will look like. A screen will pop up on your screen and essentially this will allow you to scrape the data off of Clutch. So for example, this is what we see. I'm just gonna make this a little larger. We see all of these different rows and we obviously don't really need all of these different rows, but essentially, as you can tell, it is scraping the data off of this Clutch database. And what you wanna do is you just want to copy uh, press this button, copy all, and you're gonna copy the data. If you wanna continue scraping, you're just gonna press locate next button, and you're gonna scroll to the bottom of Clutch, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the next button, which is over here, and you're gonna press next, and that's what you're going to do. And then you're gonna jump back into Instant Data Scraper, and you're just gonna press start crawling, and this will automatically switch the page. If you see in the background uh, of Clutch, it's actually moving to the next page, and it's scraping the data, and as we can see, right now we have 300 rows, 400 rows, uh, etc. And that's exactly what you want to do to scrape large databases. And once you have the amount of leads that you want, you're just going to press stop crawling. You can obviously let this crawl all the way to the end. It's just going to take you a couple minutes. But what you want to do is you just want to press copy all. All right, awesome. So once you copy the data off of Instant Data Scraper, your next step is to jump onto Google Sheets. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna paste the data over what you just copied into Google Sheets. And you're gonna see a bunch of these different rows. And it might look a little bit confusing. It might look a little bit intimidating. But really, there's only two rows that you're gonna need to copy. The first one is gonna be company names. And the second one is gonna be the clutch URL. So we're just gonna remove all the other rows. So for example, we have company names over here. I'm just gonna rename this to company names. Uh, and then we have the clutch URL. So I'm just gonna call it company website. And you really don't need any other of these rows. So I'm just gonna remove them. So delete them. I'm gonna delete row B. And then literally all the way to the end, I'm just gonna press the delete button and that's it. And basically now we have two rows, company names and company websites. And all you wanna do now is you're just gonna copy the amount of rows that you want. So I'm just gonna do the first 30 for the purposes of this example. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go into chat GPT. That's what you're gonna go into. So once you're in ChatGPT, this is the prompt that you need to enter into ChatGPT. Pretty much it says, format the below data into a table and create a column for count, company name, company website, and find the real website. You're just gonna press enter into it. It's gonna give you a little bit of a prompt. And all you're gonna do now is you're just gonna paste into the data that you literally just copied off of Google Sheets. 
This is the first 30 rows that I just copied and I'm gonna press enter and essentially ChatGPT is gonna get go into work and as you can see, it's gonna put the count the company name is going to put the provided website link, which is going to be a cl clutch link. And once this is done, all 30, it's going to create the real website. So I'm just going to let this run in the background. I'm going to pause this recording and I'm going to resume once that is done. Okay, cool. So ChatGPT actually filled out the data in terms of company names and provided websites. The prompt after that is asking me, do I want to find the real websites? I'm just going to press yes. And I'm going to let ChatGPT go to work. And it's going to, as you can tell, it's going to start scraping for the websites. And as you can see, this is exactly what that looks like. Okay, cool. So ChatGPT has actually formulated the real websites for all of these leads. And as you can see, if you click into them, these are real working websites. These are the real websites because ChatGPT is obviously doing its thing. And all you wanna do is you just wanna copy um, the ones that you just created. You're gonna move it into a Google Sheets, a brand new Google Sheets, and you're gonna paste that out. But what you will find is all of the data moves into row A, and obviously we can't, you know, that's not gonna work. We need to separate that by company name and company website in order for us to enrich it with the decision makers. So what you wanna do on Google Sheets is highlight row A, go up into data, press split text to column, and over here, this little pop-up is gonna come up. All you wanna press is custom, and you will just want to put in the dash, and all that will do is it will separate it. So as we can see, uh, row A is now company names, and row B is now the company websites. And obviously for this one as PR.com, we just want to move that into over here. And that's basically all you have to do. And now we are separated by company name and company websites. We're just going to create a new row above that. We're going to call it company name. And the next one is going to be company website. And all you want to do now is you just want to download this as a CSV file onto your computer. And we're going to upload that into Apollo to now find the decision makers. So your next step is to jump into Apollo.io. You're able to do this with a free account so you don't have to sign up for the $99 monthly subscription. You could do this with literally a free account. You're gonna go into Apollo and then what you're gonna do is go and press companies and over here on the right side, you're gonna press import, import as a CSV and you're gonna press select CSV file and select the file that you literally just downloaded off of Google Sheets. And once you have selected that file, this is what that's gonna look like. You just have to map those two rows. So the two rows that we literally put together, which is company name, which is gonna be account name, and account website, which is company website. And all you're gonna do is scroll to the prop bottom and just press import. And this is gonna take a few minutes, depending on how many leads that you uh, inputted. Now for the purposes of my example, we only did 30, so it pretty, pretty much did it instantly. I'm just gonna refresh this page. And what you're gonna see is we have 29, so it took 29 of those websites. Maybe one of them didn't scan through. That's completely fine. We're just gonna select all, select this entire page and we're just gonna press find people. And now we have found the specific people who work at those companies that we just scraped and using the filters on the left side, now we could get hyper specific with who we want to target. So for example, if we wanna target, let's say the founder. We have founder, if we wanna target the CEO, we have the CEO. Uh, and now as you can see, we have 33 of the founders or CEOs of those 29 companies that we just inputted. Now obviously there's a bunch of different filters that you can play around with what Apollo to filter who it is exactly that you're looking for. If you're looking to reach out to larger companies and you're not reaching out to the founder and you're not reaching out to the CEO and you're, let's say you're reaching out to the head of sales or the head of marketing, then you could put those titles in. But using this specific strategy, you're able to locate specific marketing agencies way more accurately than the built-in Apollo way or the built-in LinkedIn filters. So once that's done, all you have to do now is you're just gonna go at the top and take it, copy the URL of the Apollo search. And now you're gonna go into a website called leadsmagically.com. This allows you to scrape the data off of Apollo for a really, really low price because Apollo actually has a $99 a month plan and it only allows you to export 2,500 leads. So you're paying a hundred bucks every single month to only get 2,000 leads, which is you know pretty bad. So all you wanna do with this website is you're just gonna put in your email address. You're gonna put in the URL of your Apollo search. So I'm just gonna paste that in and then you're going to select the amount of leads that you want so this website it allows you to scrape leads for a really good cost as you can see if we're scraping 10,000 leads it's going to cost us 40 bucks if we move it down to the 2,000 that apollo normally charges 99 dollars a month for as you can see it costs you eight dollars and you're just going to press submit put in your credit card data I'm not associated to this website. I personally just use this website because of how efficient it is. And what's gonna happen is 
after a few hours, it's going to send you the specific CSV file of what you just wanted to scrape off of Apollo. And it's going to send it to the email address that you entered over here. So that's basically it. That's exactly how you want to get unlimited leads using ChatGPT in 2024. If you found this video valuable, make sure you drop me a like, make sure you drop me a subscribe. And if you're interested in learning how to code email, everything you need to know, A to Z, step by step, the first link in the description below is a link to a completely free cold email course that I recently put together walking you through how to set up all your cold email infrastructure, the best cold email scripts, how to scrape leads, how to put together your sales assets, all of those things. But that's pretty much it. Hope you found this video valuable and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.